Hey, what's up guys? We are back with version 1.0 of the Arduino digital level. And this time we're mapping both the X and the Y and we're doing a graphical representation on the screen. So if you haven't seen uh, version 0.5, I'll link to it down below. But just a, a quick overview. Here we have a Nano, an OLED, and the ADXL335 3-axis accelerometer. And it is hooked up to 5 volts and ground. The X-axis goes to A0. The Y-axis goes to A1. The Z-axis goes to A2. The OLED gets 5 volts and ground. And SCL goes to A5. SDA goes to A4. That's it for the hardware. Now, let me show you the thinking behind this. All right, so we have our screen, which is 128 by 64 pixels. So the center point of our screen is 64 comma 32 and we're going to begin by drawing a circle with a 20 pixel radius in the center and that is our bullseye then we're going to read the X and the Y values subtract them from our initial values to get the difference and then we will draw a dot on the screen um, corresponding to that difference in both X which is this axis and Y which is this axis and when they are within five units of center then we will have the centered display all right Let's take a look at the programming behind this and then I'll show it to you in action. All right, here is the code for the digital spirit level version one. This is the version that tracks both X and Y and plots them graphically. So we are using the Adafruit SSD 1306 library and the wire library. We are defining OLED reset on number four because that's what the library uses. And then we are creating this object here from the Adafruit library called display with this argument OLED reset. Now we have our variables. X0, which is our initial reading of X, our zero point. Y0, which is our initial reading of Y, our zero point. X now, which is the current uh, reading for the X axis. Y now, which is the current reading of the Y axis. X plot, which is the dis difference from the center of the X axis. And Y plot, which is the difference from the center of the Y axis. Down here in setup, we begin the display with these two arguments. We clear the display. We wait a second to initialize everything, then we get our zero readings for X and Y, and we wait another second to begin the program. All right, once we have got our initial values, we start every loop by reading our two current values for X and Y. And then we're going to draw our bullseye with this command display.drawCircle. And then the arguments are 64 comma 32 comma 10 comma white. And this is the X position center, Y position center, the radius, and the color. Now we figure out our distance either to the left or to the right. So we say if X now is greater than X0, which means it's tilted to the left, 
and we're putting this plus five on here to give us a little dead zone so it's not so jittery. Then x plot is equal to x now minus x zero that gives us the difference between them plus 64 and that is the offset from the center. Alright. But if x now is less than x zero minus five which means it's tilted to the right, then x plot equals our center position minus x0 minus x now. And that gives us our distance to the right. Else, which means otherwise it's centered, then our x plot equals the center of the x axis, which is 128 wide, so the center is 64 exact same thing for the y-axis except it is only 64 high so half of it is 32. Then we're going to draw our dot. Now remember up here we did display draw a circle. Down here we're going to do display fill a circle. X plot for our X center. Y plot for our Y center. Our radius is 8, so it shows up inside the circle with a little border. The color is white. And we're going to delay a half a second just to make things more stable. Show the display. Clear the display. And then we go back to the top of the loop and read our current values again. That's all there is to it. Alrighty, let's power it up. It's going to read its initial X and Y values. And then it will draw the circle. And as you can see, the circle is filled. But as we tilt it, the circle, the filled circle, moves out of the bullseye's range. And that works in any of the X or Y axis. So if you want to know how to get something plumb and level, you just sit this on top of it and you adjust it and adjust it until you're right there. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Now you can take this idea, this hardware, this code, and apply it to developing a PID loop. If you want to do something like level a quadcopter or level a robot or anything along those lines. Now you have an idea of how it works. So I hope you like this and if you did please give me a big old thumbs up. It helps a lot. Feel free to comment, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed yet what the heck are you waiting for? There's new videos every day. I'll see you next time.